What's good, what's good? Welcome back to Invest and Trade with Jax. Good morning. Just had a couple of Jamaican patties, one beef and cheese, one chicken for breakfast. Absolutely scrum deliumptious in my opinion. We're gonna go over Cardano, guys. Hope you guys are doing well. We're also gonna take a look at Bitcoin and Bitcoin dominance. So currently we're sitting at 224. We're up almost 5% on the day. We're sitting on a market cap of 72.98 billion, 24 hour volume, 2.49 billion. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're new to crypto.com, sign up to the world's fastest crypto growing app. Receive $25 in crypto just for signing up through my referral. So guys, we printed a double bottom as well as a bullish divergence here on the one hour time frame. You can see we're creating lower lows while creating higher lows on the RSI, signifying the bears are losing strength. I posted this chart pattern in the Discord just as it was breaking out at $2.16, and now ADA is up at $2.21. So if you wanna stay ahead of the game, you can sign up to the Discord through the Patreon. Over 1,000 members, it's the price of a coffee, guys. Can't beat it. So let's get back into ADA here. Quick drink of water. So there's another pattern I noticed here. Actually, I might look at it on the four hour time frame. You can see we are trending back up to overbought 70 on the RSI on the one hour chart. So I want to jump into, okay, this is the daily. I just want to quickly jump into the four hour time frame. So I noticed here on the four hour that we have a bit of a falling wedge. So here's your level of resistance. Pull this over, open up. Here's your level of support right here. I'm just going to open this up. Now, it's not the prettiest falling wedge, but you have enough touches. One touch, two touch, three touch. You have all these touches right here, as well as our little breakout here. So technically, we've broken out of this double bottom and this falling wedge pattern as well. We're back above the EMAs on the four hour. So if we can head up to our technical target, see a little bit of a throwback into our ascending triangle here, then our target from the top of our wedge is up at about 232 for ADA. Now, I want to show you guys Bitcoin because I think this is really important here. So the fact that we've broken above 57.5 is a good sign. But what we don't want to see here is we just roll over and create a double top pattern. You can see we're still having our bearish divergence on the four hour time frame. And that's something to keep a very close eye on because it's signifying to us that the bulls are not showing a lot of strength. We did have a nice little increase in volume, but it has tampered off a little bit. So I would really like to see Bitcoin head up to this target from our bull flag up at 59.6. I think that would be a really strong sign because I think we could go through a bit of a larger correction if we were to roll over here and we were to break this double top. Now I'm not saying this is what's gonna happen. It's just one of the possibilities, guys. Would bring Bitcoin all the way back down to about 49K, 50K, which is an area that a lot of analysts are covering. Now, I want to show you guys something on the grander scale on the weekly time frame. You can see we've had an incredible rally and we're so close to our all time high. But look at the volume. Look how much it's tampered off. So I think there's two scenarios here. The bullish scenario, we break our all time high. A bunch of retail investors jump back into Bitcoin because they're waiting for it to break the all time high and the volume picks up and we absolutely soar. Or the second scenario is we've had a dead cat bounce, we roll over and we go into a bear market. Now it would take a lot of bearish pressure for that scenario to play out. And there are many strong signals of continuation. If you look at plan B stock to flow model, the fact that we didn't have a blow off top here, and I'm a little bit more biased to the upside, of course, I'm a little bit more of a bull, but it's something I wanted to make you guys aware of because if we look at previous bull runs here, See, we had our blow off top. Look at the volume, guys. See how the volume tampered off completely here? Even when we had relief rallies, you can see the volume was descending. If we go back here to 2013, 2014, you can see we came down, we had a relief rally, and then we saw that continuation. And if we look at the volume here, you can see the volume was slowly tampering off. And you can see here how much the volume has currently tampered off. So we may just be waiting for an explosion. We break our high. A bunch of investors, a bunch of people brand new to Bitcoin jump in. Once it breaks 64, 65K and we see it absolutely soar. Or the bear scenario, we just saw the most incredible dead cat bounce that brought us so close to our all time high. And then we go down into a bear market. Just something I wanted to bring to your guys attention here and something I think is important 
to keep a close eye on. So if we can see continuation up to this price target of 59.6 and we break through this level of resistance from our bearish divergence, that's when we can see that continuation. If we break 60K, I think the bull run would be in full force. But right now I'm a little bit hesitant to put large amounts of money into my trades just due to the fact of our bearish divergence. And if we do roll over and create that double top, we could see a larger correction for Bitcoin, of course, pulling the rest of the market with it. So if we look at ADA here on the daily time frame, we're currently hitting resistance on the EMAs. So it would be crucial if we're gonna see continuation to get back above 223, get back above the EMAs. And that's when we can head up to our next levels of resistance, 231, 239 for ADA. We could also pull this level. I don't usually like to do this here, but you could pull this level of support down a little bit and say that we're still in our ascending triangle. I don't usually like to adjust my lines here, but you can see here we have one touch, two touch, we have three touch. So that's a possibility as well, guys. But if we get rejected by the EMAs, that's when we can come back down to 205 once again. And we do have a technical target if we break down from this ascending triangle down at about 187 for ADA. All eyes on Bitcoin though. If you see us create that double top, that's when we can see that larger correction all the way down to 49.8K as we do have our bearish divergence. But to invalidate that, we need to come up to this technical target and break this level of resistance here down here on the RSI. So really crucial times right now for Bitcoin. If we can go up and break 60K, I think we're in the clear. However, guys, if we roll over here, if we see a correction, there is the possibility of a much harder downfall for Bitcoin, in my opinion. Or we just come down to that 49K, we create a strong level of support, and we see that continuation back to the upside. All right, guys, I always like to give you guys all possibilities. Make sure to smash that like button. I am currently trading ADA. I'm currently in a trade. I think it's up 8 9% right now, trading this little breakout here. Uh, but not with too much margin as i think the market is a little bit shaky at the moment check out the discord sign up to bybit guys that's where i trade ada my favorite platform for leverage trading they have spot trading available you can check out my full link tutorial all right guys i'll see you in the next one much love take care